Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Virtual Sunday School. Uh, for this day, this is for November 22nd. Um, it's Christ the King Sunday, the uh, end of our liturgical calendar um, and year before Advent starts next Sunday. Um, so I'd just like to, again, uh, say thanks for joining us in this way. And also, again, thank you to those um, who are our special guests uh, this week, uh, reading some of our stories. So we're just so uh, thankful for that, um, for our teachers and others who have contributed to this week and for the weeks to come uh, to make this possible. Um, let's begin with a prayer. I invite you to repeat after me. Let us pray. Gracious God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the gifts that you've given us. Thank you that you are our King and that you love us and that you rule with grace and with mercy. Help us to follow you and all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so here's your stories. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read a story called A Storm. And if you want to follow along in your Bibles, it's on page 286. Jesus and his friends, the disciples, met by a lake one day. They were going to go fishing together. Creak, creak. The fishing boat rocked as Jesus put one leg over the side of the boat and pulled himself in. Follow me, Jesus said to his disciple friends. One by one, they climbed into the boat. Finally, they pushed off from shore. Jesus' friends talked and laughed in the boat. They told stories about all the fish they caught on this lake. What was your best fishing trip, Jesus? One of his friends asked. But Jesus did not answer. He was sound asleep. <sighs> Gray clouds came into the sky and pushed out the sun. The boat rocked harder now. The first raindrops came. Plop, plop. The disciples held their cloaks around them as the rain fell harder. Brr, the rain was cold and the wind was blowing strong against their skin. Waves came over the top of the boat. Splash! Lightning flashed all around the boat. Thunder cracked. Jesus' friends yelled, we shouldn't be out here on the lake. How could Jesus sleep? Flashes of light and gusts of wind came every second. Jesus' friends couldn't wait any longer. They shook Jesus awake. Help us, Jesus, they cried. Jesus opened his eyes and saw the fear on their faces. Why are you so afraid, he asked. Jesus stood up in the boat and lifted his arms. Peace, be still. In an instant, waves lay down on the lake. Shh. Clouds made a space for the sun. The raindrops stopped and there was silence instead of thunder. Jesus' friends stared at each other. Did you see that? Jesus saved us. We're alive. We survived that awful storm. Thank you, Jesus. Show someone how your face would look before, during, and after the storm if you had been in the boat. I bet that was kind of scary, but knowing that Jesus is always with us always helps us, right? Now we're going to take a look at your worksheet. And the front of it says, fold the picture to show the storm. Unfold the picture and what happens? So if we fold it to show the storm, his friends look pretty scared, don't they? But what happens when we unfolded it when Jesus said, peace, be still? On the next page, There are some pictures of different places and what the weather is like there. This one shows a picture of the desert, and this one shows a snowstorm, and this one shows lightning and thunder and a rainstorm. You guys can put pictures on here to show where Jesus is, and Jesus is everywhere we are, right? He always keeps us safe. Um, another activity you guys can do is draw a picture of Jesus and decorate it with things around your home and hang it where you sleep. Look at it before bed and say, I can trust Jesus. So anytime we're scared at night or if there's a storm, 
Pray to Jesus, look at your picture on the wall, and just know that he's going to keep you safe at all times. And then last on here, um, there's some trust tattoos that you can color with markers. And if you want to cut it out and you can apply it with a damp rag so that it says, trust Jesus on the back. You might need to ask your mom and dad for some help with that. <sighs> um, I just want you guys all to have a wonderful Sunday, and I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Take care. The Lost Sheep and the Lost Coin Telling stories was Jesus' favorite way to teach people about God. Once there was a shepherd who had 100 sheep. Jesus said he loved them all, the big ones and the little ones, the good ones and the naughty ones. They were his sheep and he loved them. Every day the shepherd counted his sheep to make sure they were all safe. One day he counted only 99 sheep. Oh no, one was missing. Right away, the shepherd left the 99 sheep together and went to look for the one that was lost. The shepherd listened for the lost sheep to baa. He looked in all the places that sheep might get stuck or in trouble. It took a while, but the shepherd kept looking until he found the missing one. Then he called to all his friends and neighbors. Come on over, he cried. I found my sheep. Let's have a party. Jesus loved telling people stories about the, like this about something being lost and then found. I have another story, Jesus said. Once there was a woman who had saved up ten little silver coins. One day when she was counting them, she discovered that she had lost one. What do you think she did? Did she think to herself, oh well, I've still got nine, so who cares if one is lost? No, she did not. She lit her lamp and swept the floor from top to bottom. She looked under and over and around everything in her house until she found that lost coin. Oh, she was so happy she had a party to celebrate. God is like this shepherd and this woman, you know, Jesus said. God would never stop looking for someone who was lost. How would you feel if you were lost and then found? All right, first and second graders. Now we're going to look at the little handout pamphlet if you had one of those. So on one side of the lost sheep and the lost coin, you know, it talks about keeping looking, uh, imagining that uh, that woman that had the ten silver coins and lost one. She would just keep looking for them. She wouldn't just say, oh, well, I still have nine. She would look for that one that was lost. And again, there's a little sticker you can put in this section here to see what she finds uh, as she lights her lamp and looks under the rug. This side as well highlights many kinds of sheep. Did you know that there's so many different varieties and types of sheep? Uh, the Jacob sheep, the Moreno sheep, and the Finn sheep are all uh, highlighted there on your page. Now on the other side, where God looks for us, can you find um, the differences between the different pictures of sheep and of shepherds uh, there on the side? You can write a little section there too about what you might have lost. I lost something one time. This is what I lost. What was it? And as you think about it, Think about this is how I felt when I lost it, and write that down in the next section. Then this is how long I looked for it. Less than five minutes, less than 30 minutes, more than an hour, more than a day, more than a year. And this is who helped me look for it. A friend, a teacher, a family member. See who all was involved. Or did you look for it on your own? And then this is what happened. Are you still looking for it? Have you found it? Or have you forgot that you lost it? All right, third through fifth graders, I'm going to read the story for you all today. 
it's about the sheep and the goats. It's uh, I think this the same one that we heard in church again today. Um, I'm just going to read from a little different version. It is again based on Matthew 25 verses 31 to 46, um, and this is uh, the Action Bible. So the Action Bible is uh, written in a sort of comic book form. Um, so you can see I'm going to read this panel and the next panel uh, about the sheep and the goats. Uh, so it's got some neat illustrations there uh, from a comic book artist. Here we go. This is Jesus speaking to the crowd. When the Son of Man comes, he will sit on his throne. He will be surrounded by angels and every nation will be in front of him to be separated like a shepherd separates sheep from goats, the sheep to the right and the goats to the left. You are blessed by my Father. Come and take what is promised to you. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me a drink. When I was a stranger, you welcomed me. When I had no clothes, you gave some to me. When I was sick, you took care of me. When I was in prison, you visited me. The people said, Lord, when did we do these things? Jesus said, this is the truth. When you did these things for the least of my people, you did them for me. And then Jesus speaking to the others. Go away from me. You are cursed and will go to the devil. For when I was hungry, you gave me nothing to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me nothing to drink. When I was a stranger, you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you gave me nothing. I was sick and in prison, and you did not help me. Those people said, Lord, when did we not do these things? This is the truth, Jesus said. When you did not do these things for the least of my people, you did not do them for me. These people will be punished for eternity, while those who have done what is right will have eternal life. Jesus in that section there. All right, so again, that's the story that Jesus is telling. It's a parable about the sheep and the goats um, when the king comes to sit on his throne. All right, fifth graders, so looking at your... A pamphlet and handout if you had picked that up. Um, I like the little picture there with the throne. Um, if Jesus had a throne, what would it look like? What do you think? What would you draw as an image to fill in the throne with the things that belong to Jesus? So yeah, kind of a fun activity there, being creative. Looking at that sense of Jesus as a king. Um, in kings, we tend to think of as thro uh, sitting on a throne. But Jesus is a different kind of king for sure. And what do you think the throne that Jesus would sit on would look like? Also in the look it up section, you're looking up Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 4 through 9. This passage is called the Shema. Um, and that's what Jesus calls the most important commandment. And Jesus talks about it again in Matthew 22, verses 34 to 39. In that passage, who else does Jesus tell us that we should love? There's the converted commandments section here. Following God's commands are about what we do as much as they are about what we don't do. For example, the fifth commandment, don't kill, also calls us to keep people alive, to feed the hungry, to care for the sick. So take a look at some of the commandments below and see if you can think of an action that fulfills the implied meaning of each one. The first commandment there is completed for you. So don't have any other gods. Have God as your God. Don't misuse God's name. What do you think you could say about what to do? Don't steal. What do you think you can do? Don't lie. What's something you can do? Don't covet things that aren't yours. What can you do about 
how you view things that other people have. Now third and fourth graders will look at your handout. On the front there is a section again that's called sheep and goats and then caring for others means caring for Jesus. Um, so there's a scenario here of picking up trash and then there's an ending A, ending B, ending C. So I'll go ahead and read that for you. Cutting through an alley on my way to school, I saw a tipped trash can. The trash bags had rolled into the middle of the alley. I thought of what a pain it would be if our family was driving down the alley and couldn't get around them. So I uprighted the can and lifted the bags back in. It was kind of stinky, but no big deal. Ten steps later, I heard someone yelling. Ending A. Dude, I totally saw you clean up my trash. That was so rad of you. It was Rockin' Rico, the craziest and coolest punk rocker in the tri-state area, that I had no idea he lived there. And now he was handing me an autographed copy of his latest CD. Ending B. Get out of here, you mangy kid. I saw you digging through my trash. Get lost. Whoa. Time to change my route to school. That old lady is crazy and she's swinging a mop at me. Ending C. I turned around to see who it was and it was Mr. Woley from church. He hadn't even seen me. He was just calling his dog from the backyard. What do you think about the scenario of picking up trash? Of trying to do good and to care for others thinking that that might be similar to how it would be caring for Jesus. Do the different endings with different results change the good deed of picking up the trash? If you knew who it was that you were maybe helping or going to encounter? What do you think Jesus thinks about the action of picking up the trash in the alley? Can you see Jesus in the punk rocker, in the older lady swinging a mop, or in the friend from church who was calling his dog? I wonder why shepherds keep sheep and goats separate. I wonder how caring for a stranger is like caring for Jesus. I wonder why Jesus chose these animals for this parable. What do you think? Why do you think Jesus chose sheep and goats for the parable rather than a bear or a rabbit or a squirrel? I like the fill in the blanks in this section on the back. When was I what? Fill in the following blanks with what you would do. When I was sad, you gave me a... What would you give someone who is sad? When I was lost, you gave me a... How would you help someone who's lost? When I was failing, you gave me a... When I won the game, you gave me a... When I ate too much ice cream, you gave me a... And then just below that, you can fill in one of the two spaces for each sentence and then switch with a friend or a parent uh, to finish it. So I like that. They give you uh, five different sections there. When I was blank, you gave me a blank. So on either side, you can think of something that either when you were something or what you might give, and then the other person gets to fill in uh, when they were uh, and wanted to receive that. So have some fun and uh, fill in those blanks and enjoy your activity. Well, good morning, everybody. Again, I'm here with you, Pastor Keith, and I'm in our activity room, and I'm here to sing a few songs with you. So our first song for today is Psalm 25, or it's called To You, O Lord. That's how it starts. So the words are, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Clap, clap. In you I trust, O Lord. We sing that again. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Clap, clap. In you I trust, O Lord. And then we get to the other part, and it goes, 
higher than the mountains, deeper than the seas, wider than the ocean is your love for me. You are with me on the mountains and the valleys below. You are right here beside me everywhere that I go. And you can do a spin at the end if you want, spin around everywhere that I go. And then we sing the chorus again. So let's try to do that one together. So for our next song, I was going to try to sing, I Just Want to Be a Sheep. I know there's lots of different versions and verses to it, um, but this is the basic one. I just want to be a sheep, ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba, 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 ba. We'll see how we do on that one. Let's sing it together. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't wanna be a Canaanite. I don't wanna be a Canaanite. Cause they raise Cain at night. I just wanna be a sheep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't wanna be from Babylon. I don't wanna be from Babylon because they Babylon and on 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 and on. I don't wanna be from Babylon. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't wanna be a Sadducee. I don't wanna be a Sadducee. Cause they're so sad, you see. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't want to be a Pharisee. I don't want to be a Pharisee. Cause they're not fair, you see. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. 
I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be a hypocrite. Cause they're not hip with it. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. Nice job with the sheep. Okay, so now for our final song. Um, the one I wanted to sing and share with you is either called an Irish blessing or a Celtic blessing. Um, it kind of comes from that part of the world up in uh, the United Kingdom, Scotland, Ireland. Um, and so it's kind of some poetic words of a blessing and ascending um, as we leave. And so the words of this song are, May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rains fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, yes, until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Uh, this is a version that I learned of it. Until we meet again, bye for now.